Well, welcome to another uh, edition of Tech Time today. Appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully, this will be beneficial to you folks in the in the field. And uh, um, again, appreciate it. Getting the most from the, our webinar, you can always answer, ask questions, send us some um, emails if you need to, um, and sign up again for future um, Tech Time programs. There's a link right there on the sign up page. Um, so let's get rocking and rolling here. Again, I'm Jim Strandlin, Technical Service Specialist for Entertech um, and uh, a part of a great team. Um, we're hosted by Entertech University and also Entertech Energy Technology is your host today and uh, helps us put this program on. Um, one thing to remember, um, all of our uh, previous Tech Times and some of our training videos are on our university, Intertech University page on YouTube. So you can always go back and watch these as they've been recorded um, down the road here. One thing that's interesting, you know, today, um, our, uh, our newer heat pumps, uh, air source and our geothermal, are using a lot of new state-of-the-art electronic components, high dollar replacement costs on a lot of them. Um, so providing additional uh, electronic component protection is a smart uh, thing to do today. Um, when you're selling products, um, I also like to look at if you're uh, selling new, but if you're out there doing uh, routine maintenance, uh, these are some good things that can be added on to your repertoire of selling to customers. Um, keep that in mind. Uh, it's, uh, it's something good uh, that you can also add on. We all know what lightning strikes uh, um, can do, as well as some other things. This day and age, um, we got a lot more, you know, lightning storms. We've got a lot more ice storms, as we have witnessed in the northern uh, part of the United States this past winter. And uh, ice covered trees hitting power lines makes like a like a direct um, electrical wire to the ground, and we caused a lot of damage. So um, keep in mind. Um, our, our infrastructure grid power is getting weaker and stuff too and being overtaxed. And um, any types of these uh, components we're going to talk about today are good for your outdoor equipment, for air conditioners, as well as our geothermal heat pumps. Um, here's a picture of, uh, of more modern compressors that we're using today at Copeland Scroll. They're a variable speed compressor. And they have um, an inverter motor drive, as you can see to the right of the compressor. And uh, basically we're converting electricity over from single phase to a three phase. So this is a very expensive part in our equipment today. Um, these compressors can run up to 7,000 RPM. And so an additional protection uh, is, is a good part of the repertoire of putting these systems in. Our EAV air source heat pump on the left of your screen and our WV series on the right of your screen are, are both using the Emerson inverter uh, driven electronics and compressors today. And I think we'll start seeing more of this stuff in our, in our future. Now, um, as you can notice here, um, here's some examples of some power problems that we have seen. On the far left is a uh, soft start that took a pretty nasty hit. In the center picture is a part of the inverter drive um, that's had some damage. You can see there's some kind of light brown material on top of the capacitors. Those have blown for some reason. And, and typically it's been from a power surge or a power strike or uh, some problems with that. Uh, I want you to know that these things can benefit greatly from our compressor defender. Um, and the uh, soft starts uh, took a lot of beatings until we found the compressor defender and that's made a big increase of savings of, um, of product and has worked out very, very well. Um, Intertech Data Technical Bulletin. This is available on our website for viewing. It has um, talk about the compressor defender, um, how to wire it up into some of our heat pumps. So this is available uh, online TB 20.004. Please get that and read it. If you uh, can't find it, email one of us in tech support. We'll gladly um, send it to you. Now, one of the things that I, I want to talk about today is the difference between the compressor defender and some of the other types of uh, 
systems that are out there. Many different manufacturers and many different other brands are available, um, such as we got up here, uh, um, the Intermatics on the left, we got our Erector Seal 1 in the top center. Some are made by Mars um, and ICM and Subco. These are just some of the few that are available out there. Um, they all got their differences. Uh, they got differences in cost. Uh, and I'll explain a little bit more in, in a minute. Um, the one thing that why Intertech chose the compressor defender, and if you read what they talk about here, um, they claim that they're the only one that can do under voltage surge power protection on the HVAC market. Um, and they also have uh, integrated three minute short cycle time delay protection. Now, the reason what's important with that is we get some of these powers that, you know, come on, go off, come on, go off, come on, go off. Some of the other features out there do not have the ability to do the three minute time delay or any kind of time delay. There may be some other ones that are out there, and I'll show you a couple that um, have a different claim to how they do things. But the one thing I want to really make sure is a compressor defender does offer a three year product warranty and a $7,500 connected equipment warranty. Fill out the paperwork, send it in, and get it registered. Um, so that's a pretty significant uh, asset that can help a consumer during some of our power issues. So keep that in mind. I think that's a good feature as well. Now, um, these brands here in, in the bottom left one is also another Intermatic product, um, but it does not have the time delay. So as you can see, the many different types, um, the Rector Seal, the ICM, and the Mars, don't have the capability that the compressor defender does. They're really good for like say lightning strikes or power surges of higher voltage, but they don't always do much for uh, lower voltage or single phasing operation. And again, they don't have a time delay built into them. So um, how does your component work uh, in our heating heat pump systems of power on, power off, power on, power off without no accessory time delay. So that's why uh, Intertech has chosen the compressor defender um, and made that a main part of their warranty claims with soft starts and also an added uh, bonus feature to keep our equipment safe. Um, just for an example uh, here, the top left one is, is um, a Subco that retails around $140 I've seen online. Um, uh, I'm sorry, the top one on the left is the Subco, what they call a linebacker. Uh, is like $97. The one on the bottom was 140 left, and then our compressor defender is somewhere around 97 bucks, somewhere in there. Um, these other two products do offer some kind of a time delay. So I'm not saying there aren't other products out there that, that may not work, and I'm not condemning any other brands or products, but Intermatic has had a relationship with Intertech for a long time, and it became a really good fit. Personally, I've used a few of them on my own equipment, and uh, would highly recommend that you can use these as an add-on item, uh, resale value, um, maintenance uh, calls, upsell these things. You will not believe how good that these things really can do and help save um, callbacks. How about warranty claims? If something like this can prevent a contactor going bad or a circuit board going bad, uh, we all know warranty claims um, aren't always real profitable for us as, a, as contractors. So a little additional items like this, um, you know, can make a make a great deal in savings down the road. So again, there are other ones out there that have some time delay features in them. Do your own research, but uh, for my money, the, the Intermatic Compressor Defender is is the is the winner. Again, um, part of the technical service members here's some of our guys' pictures. Uh, you know, we can be reached at uh, 618-664-5860. Don't hesitate to give us a call or ask for anything that you may want. Got a lot of information available for you. Uh, thank you again for attending. Appreciate it very much. Um, again, their websites are there. Intertech University is there. Um, give us a visit to other, some of our other uh, tech times and some of our other webinar trainings. They're all available online for review. And uh, thank you guys and girls. All have a wonderful day and look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you.